We're not at the dinner table again. Come on, Robbie. We missed the table. I know, guys. I know. Sorry about that. So, Black Friday. Oh, what's that? I've got I've got some gem deck boxes going up on my website at 6 a.m. for Friday's Market Watch. Oh, there's a Dark Magician Girl mat going up, too, at 6 a.m. As I said, Friday, we do have a special treat. We have some excess playmats that I'm going to put up. We have a special Dark Magician Girl playmat that you guys can see then. Uh, it's limited to 25 copies. Once they're gone, that's it. And then we also have that hot gem deck box also. So, that's, like I said, that's your preview. So, what's going on over here in the, uh, the secondary market? Valors are down to 515. I'm actually surprised about this. These are giving out. Osses are down to 360s. Ghost Mourners are down to 240s. Chambers are down to 265s. We're down to one whole 50 on the Almororises. These blew out on Etco. Access codes are still going 72. Doesn't surprise me. Arch Resorts, 35. Hey, you guys remember when these were $50, right? I remember. Poor Met Greases, hmm. There's a really cheap one here you can actually snipe for 17 bucks. Then we're back up to 22. It, what what is up with this one? Really, 15 bucks. Hey, well, like I said, you got some cheap uh, mech knights here if you want them. Then we have chamber here to hold 22 dollars. They've really been holding actually. Ghost mourners, 15, 16 bucks. Link crosses at 12 bucks. Grave diggers hole. When did I miss this? These are 11 bucks. Fusion Deployments, five, six bucks. Shios, five bucks. Gizmek Ukas of fives. And Mr. Krokazor is consistently holding about the four to five dollar mark. Same thing with the Salon. And poor Arias, I feel so bad for this card. It's three dollars now. <laughs> so sad, actually. <laughs> Titan Sider's a three dollar card. Wow, this is a two, Witchcrafter Unveiling's a two dollar super. Huh. I don't know if you guys really noticed, but some supers have been kind of gaining a lot of value as of late. And it's kind of interesting, actually. I really like that. Iria is a $2 card as well. Wow, what the witchcraft card's also creeping on up. Well then, smug girls are gaining value. All right. Genesis Impactors, I just wanted to show off here that uh, boxes... Our 65 shipped to your front door as of this current point in time. Um, obviously, remember, check out Yu-Gi-Oh! Black Market. Use Uncle 40 Save on your purchase, of course. If you guys are shopping on TCG Player, hey, use my link. It's no cost to you and it helps support the channel. Super easy. What's going on with Phantom Rage today? Oh, he does are still 250s. That's sad. Uh, these continue to die in value. This is so sad. These are down to 270 off of a $300 price tag. All right, and then they were 350 at the beginning. Alphas are down to two tens. Fruitlesses, $1.60 or $1.65, 165s, and then 160s on the torn scales. Regular Zeus's are down to 45. Um, we're actually rebounding right now on these alphas. Uh, people like they're going down. No, they, they, they touched the $35 mark and then they reseated right back on up. So yes, they are going, they're holding at 39 very consistently. Torn Scales is $25. These are still fluctuating. A lot of people have faith in that deck, and it's kind of interesting, actually. Uh, let's see, your Virtual World Lulus, 18 bucks. Hey, they're going down. Airborne Assault Ultras. You guys remember when these were $20, right? These were literally like $20 a week ago. What? <laughs> Tri Brigade Assaults, regular copies are six bucks. Guys, I ask you in the future, if you if you underestimate my knowledge of this game, you're lost. If you guys told me to eat my own butt because I didn't know what I was talking about here, and when I said that this was, people argue that this wouldn't be a $5 card. It was like, oh, it would be really more, no. That's not how this game works. Super sad, by the way. I am. I do want to check one thing, though. I am curious. Um, 
He's only 35 cents. So here's a little bit of knowledge for you guys. You can actually make this with Tri-Brigade. It's something that the OCG was doing because of the wording on the card. It allows you to special summon. You're not actually making it. Um, and it basically allows you to extend with some of your combos. Um, they're relatively cheap. I'm not saying to go go crazy if you're playing. I'm playing Tri-Brigade anytime soon. You are going to want to double Dragon Lords. All right. Ah, do you guys know? Let's see if what I was told is true. Tactics. All right. They've done it. They're officially over the $100 mark. We did it. We did it. Yay. I, I was told earlier in the day that these were actually above 100 I was like, no, they're not. There's no way they would ever be. Yeah, they're over 100 now. Yup. No real shocker here. It's $104. Droplets are at 79 The Deer Servants are at 72s. All right. Ice Dragon's Prisons... Yeah, still floating about the eighteen to twenty dollar mark. Uh, Florida leases are still popping about twenty, and we're still floating about twenty on the Ecclesias. Mister Mill cards on the top of my deck, an eleven dollar card, of course. Uh, Gaia Origins at twelve bucks. Well, I'm not sure what else I'm supposed to say about this set. Um, it looks like it's been a little bit of a ride. Oh boy, buy at Emancipator Friends. Their dollars. I can't lose on that investment. Yeah, you can. It's so bad. Don't don't actually do it. I don't recommend it. Ah, so me and John have both talked about the tokens from this structure deck. Um, doesn't surprise me. Hey, look, common dark rollers, three dollars and twenty cents plus shipping. This is about half of your value of your structure deck. Tokens, seventeen listings by the way, dollar forty threes. Oh, would you look at that? 16 listings on these. Uh-oh. Alternate wins. I mean, you have a lot of quantities here. As gaming is holding the line here. But I just want to point out here that these low listings on these tokens is a very scary thing. All right? I wouldn't be surprised if we come back later in these tokens' lives and we're like, oh, why are they so expensive? I don't get it. This is BS. We know that this was going to happen. So, low listings on the tokens. Doesn't surprise me. Keep an eye on them. Watch them go. All right. Next up, Ptolemyus. I don't know why I'm, I'm still looking at this, like, every week. All right. Like, we understand that the secret was bought out. It's 29 freaking dollars. I mean, that's cute and all, but is it viable? Oh, well, look. $27. I can just buy the DTs. Why would I ever pay the, the premium BS price on the secrets? when I can just buy the the other copies. That's what I don't understand. Like, whoever's trying to hold the buyout on the M7, it's not worth it. Galteas, wow. 46 bucks? 46 bucks. Dingrisus, 35s. And we, <laughs> this is cheap. Man, you can buy orchestrated returns at $9. Hmm. Harpoors are dollars. Huh, well that's a sad frickin' day. I hope you didn't invest too crazy in this because they they blew out. <laughs> New Doria DTs, I don't know what happened here. Kudos to whoever bought this out though. You're a mad lad because this is this is dumb. Nobody's ever gonna pay you eleven to twelve dollars on this. There's no way. It's not how it works. Um I don't know what else. Did you also know that Ujo friendships are going up? I we give this card a lot of flack as a meme, but these are $49 up to $50 at the moment. What have I missed? This is insanity, actually. Phantom Knights, we, we know about the Torn Scales. $20 on the Ragged Gloves, and they're bought out. Huh. Well, that's interesting. If, if, if this was actually working, um, you know... I'd be seeing, this is one of those cases where people are buying out cards, but they're not doing good. It's interesting. Ancient Cloaks at $8, all right. Easy stuff. I don't see anything too crazy back here. I'm sorry on the Phantom Knights. I can't tickle you anymore. Malakota. Right, how much are these going for now? Light plays? Eh, like 31 32 uh, That Precious Gem near Mint, though, you're looking at $45. Nobody's going to pay this. Apollosis. Oh, how the mighty have fallen? Hmm. 
Spanish Starlight for seven fifty. Then we also have I see uh, the OTS mat at two. That's a lot. Regular Appalosa mat at one ten. Twenty dollars for a secret rare app. Wow. They've died. This is ridiculous. Twenty five bucks. All right. Um, that's disgusting, actually. Ah, uh, I've got to talk about Maximum Gold here on a hot sub second. Now, I will tell you that gold is dropping. Oh, look, twenty five bucks. Somebody tried to tell me these are down to twenty, and I laughed at them. Uh, they're still holding the line at twenty four. Imperms are still holding at twenties. Dark magicians are about twelve to thirteen now. Golden lords. Good thing I'm about out of mine. Nibiru's are down to seven bucks. All right. Feather dusters, five bucks. Apps at fives. This set is crashing very quickly, uh, at least on the front end of stuff. There's a lot of listings. I still see that like hand traps have low quantities. Still seventies. Kitchens are game over. Yeah. Give the this set once we get a ban list, and this was something that somebody else mentioned on a sub point here. Watch this set around a ban list, and something jump starts, and we, we could see some crazy value changes. Uh, Naxter's at 12 bucks. That's interesting. I guess those are still trucking along. Silent Magicians are 25 bucks for, oh, that's for Italian. 33 for English. All right. Black Luster Soldier. You guys know these are still 75 bucks? These are still $75. Nothing's changed. They're still trucking. Uh, and Trinity stuff is... What am I supposed to look at here? Uh, necromancers are still worth something. Just Eleven bucks. I mean, I I generals like four bucks. Yes, we do have the new infinity support along the way, but I can't think of anything that's really. Oh my god, crazy! Go pick it up because I don't think there is anything. Honestly, I don't think forty three or yeah, forty three bucks on those. Nothing too crazy back here. Fossil digs. Super fossil digs are seven bucks. This is where they've been. I, I, I don't know what was so crazy about this. Dwee First Dead Dante's. Evidently, these are nuts. Doesn't surprise me. BA is one of the most fan favorite decks in the game. 26 bucks. It's not bad. Clay, go Clay Mans. Clay Golems. Played All Mans. 61 for light play. That's $91. Okay. Raw Yellow Mega Pack Maliciouses. 550s for Unlims. I forgot this set was dumb and had Unlim printing. So weird. 750. Alright. Mm, not bad. Now we have Crack Lackins cracking at the whole $10 mark today. Go get them cracking. That's all I got for Market Watch today, guys. Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about today's market. And I'll see you guys on the flip side. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing Drupal Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vancall 40 for all of your Cardfight Vanguard content brought to you by Mcall 40 And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcallgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.